Hi, we're here at PAX talking about Lords of the Fallen. My name is Tomasz Gop. I'm an executive producer at CA Games. So Tomasz, tell us what Lords of the Fallen is all about. Lords of the Fallen is definitely a combat-centric game. Uh, the two main foundations and pillars of user experience, it almost precisely means combat, in Lords of the Fallen are tactical melee kind of fighting, very strategical, layered and complex, and the other one is very spectacular looking and very powerful, but a magical, super powerful one. And mixing that is a key to win in Lords of the Fallen. Talk a little more about the combat. It's not hack and slash by any means. It's, right. Like you said, it's very strategic. Uh, it doesn't lack any of the levels, layers of complexity of a strategical and very tactical approach to fighting. So you can imagine that part of the combat, the, the melee one, the strategical one, let's say a human one, uh, as a book that you might want to read to find out. There are players who love to do that, who love to craft their skill throughout the game, so that part is for them. The other one is for people who like flashy presentations. And you have, you have classes in this game. Can you go into a little about the classes you showed off today? Yeah, sure. We do feature three most recognizable and familiar classes like Warrior, Rogue, and, and Cleric. And by choosing these at the beginning, we wanted to make that choice feel meaningful. So you do lock down the skill tree of your supernatural powers, the spells, the magical ones at the very beginning by choosing your class. But apart from that, there are stats, there's gear, armors, weapons, shields, and this is totally class independent. So you can easily imagine a guy who has already locked down on, let's say, a cleric, regenerative or projectile kind of spells, but at the same time is using rogue gear, maybe warrior weapons, that's all doable. Can you talk about the world the players will be experiencing in this game? Uh, I don't want to cheat anybody that Lords of the Fallen features fully open world and sandbox uh, kind of world, but at the same time we do have a lot of re-exploration, we do encourage that. Think Zelda for example, if you open up a new chapter, new area in Zelda, it doesn't mean that the old one is locked for you, so your world just got bigger. I mean, during the presentation you have seen the monastery, and you have seen that in the middle of this location there was a huge tower, so once you finish a certain part of that, you go somewhere else, when you get back, when you decide to get back there after the another adventure that you got in another part of the world, this tower can open up to you. This is kind of re-exploration that we do encourage in the players because a lot of new things will open up to you and they will offer you new challenges. Do you have a favorite class in the game and why? I do. Um, it's actually... Um, yeah, I don't know if I should be ashamed or, or not because I love all the classes but I chose Cleric because of the looks of it. The guy that we feature in a, in a trailer, it's just he looks really good and, 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 and really like the the way we designed this guy and yeah I think all classes are viable you can play all of them so depends maybe some people will play naked I don't know you can do that I've seen hardcore players do that but uh, by the looks of it I really like Clary because I think you could easily say that he's the most tactical one even though he's got a lot of supernatural powers like all classes do but then again he's got very heavy weapons so you have to time it very very well to deliver tremendous amounts of damage that's what I love to do and when can people play Lords of Fallen? Lords of the Fallen is coming out 2014 and we're going to be out on PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One. We're a next generation game. We're still a few months ahead of Alpha, so there's still some time.